Okay, so there was only one page that I want to cover from this double issue of April 26th through May 3rd of 2021 Time Magazine. So let's cover it right now. And yes, it's on the Johnson & Johnson shot. Good question. Why did the U.S. pause the vaccinations with the J&J &J shots? Both the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, FDA, and Centers for Disease Control Prevention, CDC, recommended on April 13 the vaccinations with Johnson & Johnson Janssen COVID-19 vaccine be temporarily halted while agencies review six reports of blood clots among vaccinated people. J&J &J has also proactively suspended their vaccinations in Europe as it reviews their cases. Blood clots linked to COVID-19 vaccines are growing concern after a report in Europe linked to another vaccine from AstraZeneca designed in a similar way. Led UK health officials in early April to devise that younger people with different shots or use different shots. While the US recommends Dacian is not to mandate to stop using the vaccine, local officials quickly follow the federal advice some are swapping in the either the two dose vaccines for Pfizer, Biotech, or Moderna, which have been not linked to such clotting events. For those who had been scheduled to get the J and J shot, they still it could slow the vaccination, especially in the under resourced communities where public health officials have been relying on the J and J shot since it only requires one dose dose and can be refrigerated, not frozen in temperatures. The CDC is convening a special advisory committee to review the case and is expected to provide more guidance soon. Both the CDC and FDA have stressed that the side effect is rare. Six report among nearly 7 million people vaccinated with a J&J &J shot in the U.S. so far. But they decided to pause immunization so doctors could learn how to recognize and properly treat clots. Very few recently Vaccinated people appear to generate an allergic type reaction that stimulates their blood clotting factors and immune cells, including antibodies directed against the blood clotting factors to ag aggregate, blocking blood flow. The clotting mirrors are a rare condition triggered by blood thinner hairpin, which normally prevents clots in unusual cases, has the opposite effect and prompts immune cells to form clots instead. So in these cases, as the vaccine induced clots, Doctors should use blood thinners other than herapin or immune globulin therapy. If you've been vaccinated with the J&J &J shot and it's been over a month, you're probably not going to have the clotting problems. Since most occur between 5 and 14 days of the vaccination, but if you are recently received the shot, be aware of the symptoms like headache, abdominal or leg pain, or shortness of breath and report them to your doctor. Alice Park so that's the what we're covering in this book and it, it is very frightening um i got to tell you that right now with my condition that i have going on i'm scared as heck but um i know to remain calm and not to stress and not to worry and i've been re refraining from using my pain medicine which is very unusual because usually I'm the first one, like, first sign of pain, okay, hand me that bottle of tension headache. And I know I'm grouchy, and I know that there are moments that I, I need that, that painkiller. But I, like I said, I have been doing my best to refrain from it. So hopefully that there won't be added problems or anything like that until the 21st, at least. So, um... Thank you for being with me. Thank you for your concern. There's been so many of you who have, who have reached out and shown concern and saying, hey, you know, we're in this with you. Thank you for sharing your concerns with us. And, you know, you've got a friend. That's really nice of you. So thank you for that as well. And that's all we're covering on this ma uh, magazine. So stay tuned for another.